Okay, we're back, and this time we're talking about changing a fraction into a percent. And this is just a little bit more difficult than changing a decimal into a percent. Remember, decimals uh, to be changed into a percent is really easy. You just have to move the decimal point two places. To change a fraction into a percent, we first have to convert the fraction to a decimal, and then we move the decimal point two places. So there's this extra step. We'll look at some examples here. This first example says, write 3 eighths as a percent. So first I need to get 3 eighths as a decimal. So I'm going to write 3 divided by 8. And let's put some zeros out here so we can do the division. Now 8 doesn't go into 3, so I'm going to have a 0 up here. And my decimal point is right up there. And then does 8 go into 30? Yes, 8 goes into 30 3 times. 3 times 8 is 24. I subtract and I get 6, and then I bring down this 0. 8 goes into 60 um, 7 times, and then I multiply. 7 times 8 is 56. I subtract and I get 4, and then I bring down that 0. 40, 8 goes into 40 exactly 5 times, and then I would subtract and have no remainder. I'm done. So 3 eighths as a decimal, 3 eighths is equal to point. 375 as a decimal. Now to convert that to a percent, I just move the decimal point two places to the right. So this is 37.5 percent, and that's my answer. Here's another example. I'm told to write 28 fiftieths as a percent. So let's see, 28 fiftieths. We'll, we'll convert 28 fiftieths to a, to a decimal. So I'll do 28 divided by 50, and I'm going to need another 0 out here. So I'm going to have a decimal point in my answer right there. Uh, 50 doesn't go into 28, but it does go into 280 5 times. I know that 5 times 50 is 250, so I write that and I subtract, and I get 3 and a 0 and I need one more zero out here and that zero comes down here and I have 350 will go into 300 six times and six times 50 is 300 and I subtract and I'm done so 0.56 that's 56 a 0.56 is the same thing as 56 percent so that's my answer now take note that I could have done this the other way as well. I could have simply said 28 fiftieths is how many one hundredths. And I realized that to get from 50 to 100, I have to multiply by 2. So if I multiply the 28 times 2, that gives me 56. So 56 is my answer either way, there or there, 56% or over here 56 hundredths, which is obviously the same thing as 56 percent. Okay, one more example. I'm told to write 174 over 892 as a percentage, and I'm told to use a calculator. So I want to take this fraction, 174 over 892. I could divide that by hand, but it's going to be a lot easier to pull out the calculator and just type it in. So 174 divided by 892, and I get 0 0.19506726646. I'm just going to round that to 0.195. So that's approximately equal to, and I'll write a little squiggly equal sign to mean approximately. That's approximately 0.195. And then to write it as a percent, I just move my decimal point over two places, and I get an answer, 19.5 percent. Here we're told write one and one-fourth as a percent, so recognize that one and one-fourth is the same as 1.25. The one-fourth there is the same as the 0.25 or 25 hundredths. And then if I move this decimal point two places to the right, it ends up there, and so that's 125 percent. 
And in this one, we're told right to write 4 and 3 fifths as a percent. This mixed number here, 4 and 3 fifths, remember 3 fifths is the same as 6 tenths. You could write that step if you want to, or you might be able to do this step in your head, and that's fine. 4 and 6 tenths is the same as 4.6. And then we move the decimal point right here two places to the right. So that's 1, 2. We're going to need an additional 0 right there, and our, our decimal point ends up right there. I end up with 460%.